At a public event recently, LVMPD Sheriff Joe Lombardo was talking about the Vegas mass shooting, and he said, it's important for us to forget about that and move on. What about the 58 people who died? What about their families and the over 500 people who were shot and the public that deserves the truth and hasn't gotten it? Why do we need to forget about this and move on when we don't have answers and don't have Stephen Paddock's motive? I'll tell you why. Because Joe Lombardo wants Vegas to get the registers ringing again. This man doesn't care about those 58 people who died or those over 500 people who were shot. This man cares about the big money billionaires who really run Vegas. Those are the people who donated to him and helped him get elected sheriff when he raised over a million dollars the first time around. And those are the people who will donate to him again in his upcoming sheriff's re-election campaign. And those people are in his ear telling him to do what he needs to do to get citizens back to Vegas, back to spending money, and back to putting it in their pockets. The billionaires, the people who really run Vegas. He doesn't care about the truth and has a lot of experience in not telling it. And my documentary, What Happened in Vegas, examines the LVMPD and the Vegas mass shooting and exposes some of Joe Lombardo's other lies, like the fact that he lied about Stephen Paddock's check-in date in a press conference, or the fact that he tried to hide the fact that an LVMPD officer fired a gun in Stephen Paddock's room. He didn't say anything about that in any of his many press conferences for almost a month until a journalist, a former cop named Doug Papa, caught it on a radio transmission and alerted the media. And then Joe Lombardo admitted it almost a month later. He tried to hide it. He tried to lie about Stephen Paddock's check-in date. And you have to ask yourself, what else is Joe Lombardo lying about? And whose interests is he serving? It's not the public, and it's not the 58 people who died, and it's not the over 500 people who were shot. It's the big money billionaires who run Vegas who desperately want people to return so they can take their money. And they won't come to Vegas in the first place if they think there will be a bomb dropped on it because a terrorist group was behind this. They're just not going to come. And so the narrative becomes, it wasn't terrorism. It was a single shooter. That guy is dead. The threat's eliminated. Come back to Vegas and spend money. And we need to continue to ask questions and look at what's really going on because the LVMPD and Joe Lombardo have demonstrated time and time again that they cannot be trusted. And my movie, What Happened in Vegas, takes a close look at this.